Hello, hello everybody. I am still having paperclip mania over here at my house. I just keep having ideas or thinking of something I've seen that I want to try. So we're going to make a miniature envelope paperclip. So I've got a piece of paper. It's not cardstock, but it's kind of heavy. It's a little bit heavier than just um, typing paper and it's already um, a really pretty color so I'm going to go with it. The smallest envelope that you can make that I can make that I can figure out on this board is going to be two and a quarter by one and three quarter and it's not on the list here it's just something I wrote because I've done it and it worked. So you cut your paper I don't know if you can see uh, can you see where I wrote that right there? <laughs> such a glare. Ah! You cut your paper at 4 by 4 square, okay? And then you are going to score it at 1 and 3 quarter inch, which is there. So punch, score. And then the rest of it is just like a normal envelope. Punch and score, punch and score, just lining up that with the previous score line. and score. Did that work? Yes it did. Okay, good deal. So now we're going to fold in our little flaps and after we do this one I'm going to show you two more different ways to do it. Okay, so for this one, and let's see we got a little corner rounder right here around that off. Okay, now let's get this out of the way and let's Go ahead, and I just always cut this little thing that sticks up a little too high, that little flap. I always just cut it. There we go. That's how I want it. All right, so we're going to put some glue in here. This is uh, art glitter glue, but any white glue will work. Put that right there. And we're going to decorate that up, and that's going to be our little paperclip base. So what I'm going to need is a piece of cardstock. I'm just taking, it doesn't matter anything, um, so that I can attach my paperclip to the back. And that is crooked. All right, let's take, it can be bigger, it can be smaller. Let me see if I want it any bigger than that. Yeah, I do. And I have a reason for that. I really do. All right, I'm just going to use this leftover piece I had here. It'll actually work better. Okay, that way when I put the paper clip on my page, it's completely hidden from this side. Unless you want to leave it and tie it, you know, like we did on the last one. I had it sticking out about that far to tie a little ribbon there. So if you used it as a page tab, then you've got a, oh, a ribbon or a beaded dangle. Let's do that. Let's do that. I love my beads. All right, so let's get it over in the center where it needs to go. And let's glue. I'm going to put that back before it dries out. And then I'm going to glue this. Again, I'm using my 3-in-1 because it's what I have. It's, a, it's actually a very good glue. I'm, I'm real pleased with it. I'm not, it's not second rate to any that I can tell. It's pretty good. All right, put that there. Straighten this puppy back up. All right, make sure we're right side up and I'm going to put this up toward the top so that we're going to dangle some beads off the edge. I love to dangle beads off of anything. <laughs> I like my beads. Okay, so there is the front of our little paperclip envelope. And like I said, now we're just going to decorate it. We'll put something inside of it. You can clip it onto the edge of a page, add some frou-frou right here. So let's decorate. Let's see what we're going to do with it. Okay, for starters, I'm going to use this really, really narrow, about a half an inch wide um, lace. And I... I like to lace up my flaps. I like things lacy and vintage and shabby chic and all that good stuff. So, here's what we shall do. We shall put this right here. 
little too much glue right there. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to cut this off with the point. Then I'm going to go this way. I'm going to overlap it just a hair. A hair. <laughs> that was a two syllable word of a hair. Okay. And I am going to trim that off. And I'm going to trim that off. You can see my envelope did not line up perfectly. I was just a, a little off, but I'm a little off. <laughs> All right. Now, ain't it cute? Ain't it so cute? Oh, my gosh. All right. So let's put something inside. Okay. So I have a little book page. It has a little friendship saying on it. And... I kind of just left that side like that, but it's it's a good heavyweight paper. So I'm going to round my corners like that. And then this guy, see, so can slip right down in there. See how sweet that is? And you can open it. You can read your little friendship poem. You can write it to somebody on the back. Sign your name, whatever. Okay, so this goes in here like that. And then I was thinking about possibly using this stuff right here. Where's the end of it? If it's not too big, maybe too big. But since this is going to kind of go that way, I was thinking about, yep, I like it. I love this stuff. I don't even know where I got it. And I, I, when I bought it, I had a big bolt full of it. And I have used it so many times over the years. Still got a little bit left. So, if you, it's going to be on the side, and it is, then I want that motif to go that way. Okay, yes. Sorry, I had to talk myself through that one. Because I thought about putting it on the top, but if I put it on the top, I can't dangle a bead down. Well, you could, but it wouldn't hang as good. All right, now. So, let's put this right here. Oh, my gosh. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. All right, let's move that out of the way. Okay, so now all that's left to do is hang a little beaded dangle. So let's do that. Okay, so I just pulled this out of my stash. It's just a little beaded dangle that I had made uh, previously. And I've got a itty bitty jump ring. And I'm just going to open this jump ring. Put my bead on it. And hang it. Ah, oh, no, I'm going to drop it first. Hey, at least I didn't drop it on the floor that time. I usually drop it on the floor. All right, close the jump ring. And that's going to hang down the side of your page. And that's full of crystals. I don't know if you can see that, but oh, my, 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 my. Okay, so let's pretend this is, well, we won't show up on that. It's the same color. Let's pretend... This is our book page, okay? This is our journal page. So we can just clip our little envelope on. It'll hang just like that. That's what it'll look like on the back side. Cute, cute, cute. Now, if you want to, you could put a little tiny, tiny dot of Velcro to hold that down. But I'm thinking if I smash it just a little bit more. If I'm not happy with it, I'll put a little Velcro dot there. Or you can also put a little something, something here, like a half circle, you know, and make a little tuck. Ooh, let's do that. So what I've got here is a little tiny circle punch. And I'm just punching about a half of a circle. Let me see if that's going to be big enough. Yep, I think it'll do. Okay, so let's just ink up those edges a little bit. And what we want to do is we want to glue the straight edge just right on the edge. Nowhere else. Because you don't want your flap to get stuck. You want it to you want it to be able to come back out. You know, you want it to hold, but you also want to pull it back out. Alright, so I'm just gluing that down. And see now this is going to tuck under, which I'm not going to do just yet because I want that to dry a little bit before I took that lace under there, because sure as a world, I'd grab a piece of that lace. So that way, 
it can stay. And if you want to, since this will be on the back side of your page, you know, say you've got this hooked on to your journal page, this will be the, the um, back side. You can do something on this piece, this half of the paper clip if you want to. You could glue something else in there so that on the back side you don't have just a paper clip. You'd actually have something pretty. So let's do that. Okay, so I guess you guys can tell that I create as I go along. <laughs> I don't have that finished product always in my head when I start a video. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. I imagine this is dry by now, so let's tuck. Let's try. <laughs> let's try. Oh, no. That glue was not supposed to come up that high. That's not... Now look. You better play nice. You may have to work on that. That glue squished up a little too high. All right. I will have to work on that a little, but it is still holding it closed. It just needs a little work. Okay, so here we are on the back side. Get that back off. Okay, so this is what the back side looks like, right? All right, so I'm going to take... I'm thinking don't want to, I may change it, but yeah, I'm going to slide this guy, this is just a piece I had cut out left over from something else, I'm going to slide it in there, I've got an idea, and I'll show you what I'm, what I'm talking about in a minute, so I've got a space in between these, these um, two that I'm fixing to show you, this one and then the um, one I'm fixing to put on top, and these two pieces are identical, they are, I cut a frame out, and this was actually what was left over from the frame. And I'm going to glue that one right smack on top of that one. They both look just a tad crooked. Okay, there we go. So those two are going to be glued together, but what I want you to see is there's going to be a space. Oh, well, you can't see if I'm not in frame, can you? There's going to be a space right here. Okay, and that's where that paper clip, the inside of part of the paper clip is behind the envelope. The other side, I got glue all over me, is back here. But if you look, if you were to look and see all the way up under there, you don't see no paper clip. There's nothing there. But yet, the power of the paper clip is going to still be available to hold things together. I'll show you what I'm talking about. See? You can still, but you don't have to worry about getting up in there and snagging on that paper clip because it's completely enclosed. So the only part of the paper clip that's actually visible is that little part right there that's sticking out. The rest of it's completely hidden, and that's nothing new. I've seen other people do that. That's not something I claim to have invented myself. No way. <laughs> okay, so it's a hidden paper clip. Sticks on the side of your page. It's got a little beaded dangle, and so I just want to decorate this little part here because it needs a little fun too, don't it? So I've got this little piece of sorry, sorry silk, um, and I thought I might put this little piece of sorry silk here, but now notice I'm not gluing down here and down here because I still got to be able to slide up in there. So I'm just going to glue this here. Okay, but I didn't glue the top and bottom, see, so you can still get your clip up in there. You can still do things. So I'm just going to kind of stick that down right there. And then I got this word friend that I just tore off of a book page. And I'm just going to glue the word friend down on top. Yeah, let me make sure I had it right side up. It is going this direction. There we go. Now, how sweet is that? That's just such a cute little way to make a, a paper clip. So here's our, here's our paper clip. Here's my book page. We're just going to slide in between those two layers. Slide it on. It's got the beaded dangle hanging. When you turn the page, this is what you see from the other side. Then you can also take it out take it off if you want to. You can also open it and then take that little booklet out. How cute, cute, cute. Ooh, I need to ink that. Okay, so I'm going to call this one done. 
but I've got two more ideas that I'm going to show you. So stay tuned for the next part of Pepperclip Mania. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.